Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you three different ways to animate text inside of Premiere Elements. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to put some text onto our page here, and I'll just stop that background video. There we go, let's go back to the beginning. And for that, go up to Text, and come down to New Text, and we just want just the default text right here. And that gives you this little text box right there with just some basic text in it. Now go up where it says Adjustments, this will automatically pop up for you, and go over to Text, and in here you can change things like the font, the size, alignment color, all that kind of stuff. Now to do any of those changes, you have to select your text, just click into the text and select it like that, just pull across. I'll change this to centered. For whatever reason, it defaults to left align, which means if you added more text, it's gonna be coming over here as opposed to centered on the screen. You almost always want centered if you're in Premiere Elements. So make sure the first thing you do is to select your text and then click on that centered text right here. Let's now change the text style or font name up here. This is an Adobe Caslon Pro. I just want something really fat and easy to read. You find that thicker typefaces are easier to read on video than thinner typefaces. So most of the time I recommend going for thicker typefaces if you have those. Now this whole big long list over here, I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse. This is all of the fonts I have installed on my system, which means your list is going to be different. I have one down here called Foo, and I found this one over on defont.com. This is just a fun kind of happy typeface. Now here's the size, 68. You can type in a new sizer if you want to, or notice as I roll over this, I get the hand with two arrows on it. You can click and drag and actually increase the size of your text. You may have to do this a few times to get it large enough. We'll just go with something kind of like that in here. Pretty good size. Now notice how the text is not centered vertically on the page. You fix that with these two alignment buttons. I'm just click both of these. This is aligned left, right, and this one's aligned up and down, as you can see here. And it's now centered properly on the page. If I click into it, it deselects the text. If I click and drag, that reselects the text. If you want to change what it says, you'll have to reselect your text. Let's just change this. Now let's make that say underwater. Now most programs you can triple click and it selects your text and this does the same thing. If I had two words, it wouldn't select those. I'm gonna click in the middle here and make this two separate words. If you triple click, it just selects just the one word. So just keep that in mind if you're selecting a whole sentence. Let's now change our color in here. Go over here to the color button. Again, notice that I had that selected. Click on the color button. Here we go, color properties. You can move this around, just grab the top bar up here. You can put it anywhere you want to. You can change your color just by coming in here and choosing a different color. Get your color range right over in here. Or if you want to, you can go for no color or white or black. Those are all your possibilities in there. Now come down here where it says gradient. I'm gonna change this one to a linear gradient. Now it's going white to white. So I'll click on this first color tab right here and I'll change this color to a different color. Make it a bit bluer right here and a bit darker maybe. And that's kind of nice, maybe a bit darker in there. There we go. Click into the second color stop right here and back into my blues. And this one is the bottom half of the gradient. And I can control how the gradient works by just moving these sliders in here. This is where the gradient becomes solid color. Anything between those is where your gradient is. So just move those until the, it looks good to your eye. And I think right about in here is pretty good. Maybe I'll make this just a bit lighter on the bottom color. Choose OK. And we now have our basic text in here. At this point, we can come in and then do some animations. So we'll start off with our first animation type. And I'll triple click to select my text. And that's right here where it says animation. And there's some basic built-in animations in here. Fades, move in and out, pan and zoom, slide, special effects, twist and turn. You can show them all if you want to. Click on show all. And it just stacks all of those in here. I'll just scroll down like that. This is my mouse wheel scrolling. Notice we don't have the categories though. So categories are useful. So I'll normally just do this one category at a time. You can see how it looks just by clicking on this little play button. That's how that one runs. It just kind of fades out it's at an end of the video. Over here is play this one. Fading in by characters, there you go. So you can actually preview how it looks. Check our special effects in here. There's one called Magnet, click on that one. Kind of an interesting effect. Now to apply that effect onto your text, just come down and click on the apply button right down there. We can then play this and see how that looks. There we go. So it automatically applies that animation style to it. If you want to change that, just click on your text. Again, this is our text layer right here. It says video two, that's our title layer. Let's go back up here to the adjustments setting and animation. If you want to change this, come down here where it says remove, click on that first, and I can then put in a different effect on the text. 
Let's just try something different in here. Here's a twist and turn. Spin out by line, spin in by line, spin up by character. Here's a spin up, this should do it. We'll see how that looks, a little test. That's kind of interesting. Click on apply. Let's play this and see how that works. There we go. Interesting little animation effect in there. To go back to the beginning, just click on this button right here. This takes you back to the previous cut. And there's our beginning right there. And again, click on the line of text to select your text. Let's bring that back up again. So that's how you use the first kind of adjustment animations in here. And that's the easiest type to do. And most of the time, that's what I'll do is just one of these animations because there are quite a few in here and I can usually find something. Let's now hide this title track. And the way you do that is just to click off of the track there so it's not selected. That also hides that menu on the right hand side. And then over here where it says video two, that's where the track is. Just click on that little video icon and that hides that track. Okay, let's move on to the next way to add in animated titles in here, animated text. If you go up to text, you see the next one here is new motion title. Don't use this. This only gives you one option. It's better to go over here right hand side and click on this button right here. Same exact thing, but this gives you a lot more options. If you click on the first option up here under text and new motion title, all you can do is add this one right here. And as you can see, there are a lot of other options down here, not just that one option. So always use the button right here to bring in your motion titles. Now the motion title is a preset animation title combination, text combination. It's a real easy way to make nice little opening title sections or title sections for different chapters in your video. Just like with the regular text animations, we have this set up here at show all, and it's possibly easier to go over here and look at the individual sections. Contemporary, typography, decorative, formal, fun, geometric, and custom. Let's look at contemporary. There we go, it's just those two. Let's come down here to fun. There we go. So much easier to understand what's going on if you come in and kind of narrow down your search as what it is you're looking for. Again, just like before, there's a little video play button. Click on that and you can see what the animation looks like. There you go, nice little animation on that, three lines of text. So go ahead and we'll do this. I'm just gonna pull this down like this and just drop it onto the line. It comes in on a video line, as you can see, and here is our basic animation. Now there's a lot of stuff in here. If I grab the playhead here, I can pull this through and actually see the animation here just by scrubbing the playhead back and forth. To work with this, you wanna pull it in until everything is in place, and that's right about there. To edit individual bits of text, just click on that one line of text. You can then edit that over here, right-hand side, just like we saw previously. We have our type style here. There's bold italic underline. Here's the color options right in there. You can go in and you can change your gradient if you want to like we did previously. You can change your size right here. You can change your font in there. So all that is still available. There are some pre-built styles in here. You can use these as well. These are combinations, as you can see here, of color, typeface, shadowing, all built into one click. I tend to not use those just because I don't have as much control that way. I have complete control over here. And you also can come in and add in the same kind of animations if you want to, as we saw in the previous segment. So it gives you a great deal of control in here of the animations on this. Now the main difference of course is that we're coming in and looking at this just as a pre-built animation sequence. And there are so many of those. This is an easy way to go through. Now one thing about this, look at this background here kind of ugly, we can change that right here. You can change this from transparent, there's our transparent, or a color mat. Choose any color that you want in here, like that, or a freeze frame. You can then choose your freeze frame. It just takes a freeze frame from your video if you want to do that. I tend to like these at transparent. Let's now see how this looks. I'll use the back button here. We'll back this up to the beginning, a couple of clicks, hit the play button, and we'll see how this runs our first text. There's the second text in there. Here's our third text, all coming in on that motion background. If you want to go back in and re-edit this, just go back to that text line, double click on that. It then brings back up the adjustments panel in here for your text. Notice you can change the text right here, what it says. There's text one. This one is text three right up here. And there's text two right there. Okay. The last way of animating text is actually animating it as a video layer inside the program. Let me show how that is done. I'm just going to hide this line, click off the line, and click on that to hide that line. There we go, that's now hidden. Let's go back to our initial line here. There we go. Double click, 
That brings back up the adjustments in here for that. I'll go back into animation. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, make sure nothing is running in here. And it looks like we are fine on that. Double click, nothing is applied. I'm just gonna double check that, go back to the beginning here and make sure we don't have any animation on there. Okay, that's good, we cleaned that out already, we're fine. Let's now see how I can animate this. Go back to the beginning and come down here where it says FX. This opens up the applied effects. We have two options in here, motion and opacity. And we have these little keyframe things over here. If you open up motion, here's the motion effects. Now with this, I can apply a keyframe on this. This is our beginning keyframe. Let's hit that keyframe button right there. It now applies keyframes on all of these things. This is my beginning keyframe. I can then adjust that position. Let me just make this real small like that. And I'll come down quite a ways here and I'll make that larger. There we go. If I go back to the beginning, hit that play button, it's now going to animate between those two positions. So again, the way you do that is you go to the beginning right here, make sure you're on that line, on that video line. I'm going to reset that. So go up, hit this button here, this toggles animation. Notice we have our animation controls in here. There we go. I can toggle this on or off just by clicking on that button. That's now toggled off. Let's now toggle that back on again. So let's reposition the first one. There we go, just like that, make it kind of small. Rotation is already in here. So I'm just going to rotate this around. Let me go the other direction like that just a bit. Come down towards the end someplace here and scale this up and rotate this back around again. Now let's type in zero on that. So it's zero rotation. Let's just double check that. And there we go. There is that animation. Back to the beginning. Give it a try. There we go. It's a nice little enlarge and animation. You also can do an opacity change if you want to. Click on that, open up opacity down here. I'm just gonna choose fade in right there. Just do a little fade in. Back to the beginning, let's try that. Notice it's no longer visible, fades up, and there we go, just added a little fade in there at the beginning. So that's a third way you can do animations in here is by using these motion and opacity controls. And if you want to learn everything about how to use Premiere Elements, take a look at my complete training course there's a link for that right down there in the description. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.